Today we are gonna be making some really cool DTF shirts. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I make the shirts that you see here. And I'm gonna show you how you can expand your business using this very cool, very simple technology. So if you haven't already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you what I have in this box here. So a while ago I made a video on DTF transfers, which is direct to film transfers. And I have a video where I go more into details about it. But to make a long story short, basically it is where you are pressing a film with a de cool design onto any type of fabric. So unlike sublimation, it can go onto cotton and it's not constrained by not having white ink. It does have that ability. So I have found a company that not only makes their own DTF transfers, but they will also custom print designs that you want. So let's say you have a school logo or a business or something like that, that you're trying to get onto a cotton shirt, or maybe it has white ink that's needed. You can order a DTF and have them send it to you and you press it for your customer or yourself. So anyway, you can order ones that they already have pre-done and pre-designed if you don't want to do your own design or if you have your own design, you can go into their computer system and you can order your own DTF transfers. And this is just going to show you the overall look. So you can order the different sizing that you want. You can order a smaller, I believe it starts at like two by three feet, two by two feet, two by three feet, and it goes up and up and up depending on how much you need. And as many designs as you can fit onto there, you can get printed. And I'm going to now cut apart each design. So I'll go around and cut each one off so that I can individually press each one. But this is really, honestly, one of the easiest ways that you can make shirts. Now. So let's go ahead and start with this one here. And this is a really easy way to do it. You can really get a lot on these custom ones as long as you get your designs close together. Leave yourself enough room to cut out the design, but you don't have to have a huge edge or anything. So. Um, it really is a cool way to order your stuff. Okay. Now, you want to make sure, like this one has this little edge on there, that you cut these lines off. You just want your design to remain. Here's the first transfer. And our third one. So we're going to do the pre-press for our shirt for five seconds. And as you can tell, I have heavy, heavy pressure. And then we will take our first shirt, our first design here. Now, typically when I do my designs, I take my fingers, three fingers or two fingers, and I will start here at the top. I usually do two if it's a really big design. If it's a small design, I'll do three just to kind of make sure it looks like it's in the right spot on the shirt. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is close our heat press and press it for uh, 13 seconds. Okay, now with this design type, you are supposed to peel it hot. We're gonna grab the corner and we are going to peel it quickly across like so. Now, some DTFs require a cold peel. That is important to know which one you're working with. This one just happens to be hot. So now the next thing that we need to do is kind of make sure everything is good, flat. We're going to take a piece of parchment paper. You can use Teflon. I like parchment paper because it makes the design a little less shiny when it's done and it's a personal preference. But we're gonna press again for a finishing press of about five seconds. All right, here is the final design. And personally, I love this. I love being able to take some of my favorite designs and just be able to make them into shirts myself. And you guys see how quick this was to make. I mean, I pre-pressed the shirt for five seconds, the design for 13 seconds, and then again, a final press for five seconds. You, you can't beat that as far as quickness that it is to do. And you get to print on cotton and white ink. It, it's fantastic. 
So yeah, I'm gonna keep making some more. I'm gonna make a couple more of the beach ones that you saw, and I think I'm gonna make some more St. Patrick's Day shirts because that's coming up soon. But as I'm making this, if you are standing, sitting there going, hey, I think I might wanna try it, if you want to order from um, the company I did with this one, PNW Print Co., if you use the code AmyCreates5, you can get 5% off your order. So check them out. Um, the Print Co. website will be linked below. They're what I've been using for my custom orders um, to, to make my own shirts like this, and I love it. So let's keep some work making some more shirts. enjoyed watching. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.